Hey, Scorpio. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit. Whoa, Scorpio, look at this. This guy just flipped. You guys have a soulmate connection coming in or the one that you're in, the situation you're in right now is a soulmate connection. This person could be the one, I think. Wow. Okay, I'm just thinking about someone who started dating somebody else and that person may be a Gemini and uh, there's a very nice connection. Scorpio and Gemini. Very nice. Oh, there goes another one. So oh, Scorpio. Yes, victory. <laughs> so this is the victory card for you, Scorpio. There's going to be victory with this person. All right. Very nice card. This is six of wands. Uh, this is fire energy, but no, it's a victory. It's a victory with this person that you're talking to or the person that you're thinking about. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get the love energy spread together. So I just did Cancer. It was pretty crazy. I mean, wow. What the hell? And you're using your intuition, Scorpio? Things are changing, huh? There's a lot of purging going on, a lot of purging, a lot of, uh, there's, uh, what was it? The, <laughs> the uh, blah, 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 Mercury retrograde. Wasn't that crazy, huh? It was pretty intense. Nothing crazy, crazy happened. I just told my boss to go screw herself and left. So, yeah, basically, I'm a, a cancer bitch, that cancer bitch that spoke her mind, finally. <clears throat> so my purging is happening, my purging, and the next thing that I find that comes to me, the next job that I apply for that comes to me, and I know y'all Scorpios are this strong, it's going to be the one, it's going to be the one. So if you're purging shit out, or you had a fight with your boss, or whatever the case may be, and your boss was trying to degrade you, no, bye, 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 Lucy, Lucy in the sky. So here we go, Scorpio, love energy spread, and this is timeless, I can say from mid-June to July, but it's whenever you see it. It's whenever you see this damn thing. I want to do the damn thing, dude. Scorpio, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, thank you, thank you, universe, thank you, spirit guides. Let's get a love energy spread going. Only positive energies are allowed around this reading. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love, energy, spread. Your card here. The person that you're thinking about here. I'm just doing it already. <laughs> um, and the spirit guides. What are the spirit guides up in the ethers doing about this connection? And a potential outcome. Scorpio. 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 All right, apparently you've been taking time out to yourself, Scorpio, the bottom of the deck, four of swords. Good job. Rest and relaxation, time out, uh, meditation time, manifesting time, visualization, everything that I freaking say all the time. Perfect. Good job. So, Scorpio, let's get into this right away. Let's see. I have to get another chair. This one's too high. Okay, Scorpio, so what's the energy for you, more or less, in two to three weeks, give or take? You know, time is irrelevant in the spirit world, but regardless, let's see, what's going on with you? Fuck, Scorpio, it's you. You're in your own energy, and I promise you, go to TikTok, go to TikTok when you finish this video. Go to TikTok, and this is your card in my reading in TikTok. When I did the, uh, the short love reading or some shit like that, Wow, you're in your own energy. You're the bad fucking bitch. HBIC energy, you're shedding your damn snake skin. I'm not saying you're a snake, but regardless. It's like the snake shedding its damn skin, the old skin and coming out brand new. Didn't I say there was purging? I was saying that in the cancer video all along because I had just sent my fucking boss to hell in a handbasket, to say the least. Scorpio, your energy is folly. Fleek, fleek, fleek. Good job. I love you, Scorpio bitches. I love your fucking energy, dude. It's nonstop. You have a little bit of every fucking piece of the universe and the planets and every, every other fucking sign in the astrology chart. You do. You're bad bitches. 
dude, the death card. It's the best energy you can fucking have. It's your energy. You know you're a bad bitch. You can do what you want. You accomplish everything that is on your mind. And if you don't, or haven't, you need to do this. Because you know you're a bad bitch. You know, you know it. Why am I still saying that? <laughs> Why am I bothering you, Scorpio? So the, the energy of the person coming in, the person that you're thinking about, that you're looking straight at them, like intense, with the eyes of a Scorpio. I think I'm going to make a song like that. With the eyes of a Scorpio. Let's see their energy. Yeah, they're waiting for their ships to come in. Maybe you're a little bit apprehensive of coming in and talking to them. Could they be a fire sign and they scare you a little bit, Scorpio? Because I know in the love aspect, you guys are a little bit pendejo. Ay, mi pendejo. Yeah, you guys won't speak out right away because you are the most emotional water sign. You are. Okay? Us cancers, we may be a little bit scared of, I don't know, doing the flirting thing, right? Just in case we don't have reci reciprocation. But you guys are just scared, point blank, period. Eventually, you'll go and, and, and do it, right? But because... If there's any rejection, you guys will literally just go hang yourselves. That, that's not a funny thing. But I'm joking. I'm kidding. But regardless, they're waiting for their ships to come in. Maybe they're waiting actually for somebody to come and sweep them off their feet. You never know. They're waiting for you to talk to them. They're holding on to hope. But something's happening here. They're waiting for a connection, for action, for passion, for something to happen. They're bored. Do you see how somber that yellow is? Mind you, this is Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Think about it. They have passion within for you, and you need to come in and just sweep them off their fucking feet on this horse. Don't do it in anything else. On this horse. In an armor suit. <laughs> so let's see what the spirit guides are doing for this connection. They're pissed off. They're fucking like nine of swords. It's like, what the fuck are you both doing, Scorpio? But this would be a Scorpio card. Dark, somber, like fucking not sleeping, tossing and turning at night. Yeah, this is what the spirit guides are doing. Because this one's waiting. This one's like, do 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 tapping their hands on the fucking desk. Like, when is Scorpio coming to get me on this horse? Look how, how it's one of those like waiting memes that you see on Facebook and Instagram. It's a fucking skeleton. The skeleton is in there already in the armor because you've taken so long to holler. Holla. Why, Scorpio? Why? Just do it, Nike. Just do it. You know, it's like Nike, the brand. Just do it. Their, their, their motto. Just do it. Your spirit guides are going, oh my God. Why? Why haven't you done anything? Make a move. Do something. And it's like if they're, they're sad, Scorpio, they're sad because this one, the person you're thinking about or whoever is your connection, your soul connection, is looking out like towards the, the you know, the, the abyss, the abyss of nothing because they're waiting on your ass. Go send them a text. After you see this video, go send them a text. Check out my TikTok. See that this card came out. I just did it. Go to Celia's Tarot on TikTok. And check out this card that just came out. It's a double confirmation, okay? Potential outcome for the next two to three weeks. Of course it is. Of course it is. The eight of fucking cups. Walking away emotionally from something. But I'm hoping it's you, Scorpio. Walking away from something that's emotionally binding you okay to then be able to reach out and do what you need to do over here and you be one of these ships you be on one of those ships right and the quickest one possible not the huge container ship the cargo ship be the fucking cigarette that's coming in nice and quick because this person's getting tired tired of waiting not that they're going to give up because you guys are a soul connection but regardless, this person's getting tired, you know, like waiting for you. And you're taking your time because you got other shit you're handling. I understand it. 
maybe even a karmic situation going on, right? Because death is a phase of uh, a transition in your life. Purging out, I said it with cancer too, purging out. All of us water signs are purging a lot of shit in our lives right now. After these uh, moon phases, etc., Mercury retrograde, a lot of shit is happening in your life. And if you're with someone, which they're not, they're alone but not lonely. Let me tell you that much, Scorpio. Okay? But you're not making a move. You're stagnant. You're like, mm, oh, oh, look at the horse. Trying to get over the water. Trying to, no, no, but I'm not going to do it. But mm, no, because you have things holding you back most probably. The spirit guys aren't liking it. So finish up the time that you need to take already, Scorpio, and then make a move. Make a move because you're heading that way regardless. All you got to do is tap him on the shoulder and say, hey, listen, I'm going to accept your fucking date. You're, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to accept your, your friendship first. I'm going to, hey, let's do this. Let's go out to so-and-so place. Just spark the connection up. I know it can be scary, but you're the HBIC, Scorpio. Walk away from anything emotional that is binding you and purge all the bullshit that you need to purge out of your life for once and for all, including family, including whatever's toxic, etc. Okay, Scorp, you're a bad bitch. I love you. I got $20 readings across the board. Let your friends and family know. Please like the video, share, and, sus and subscribe. When you like the video, it changes the al algorithm all right, and it makes it better for me for people to see my videos. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm not looking for fame and fortune. This is a passion of mine. I do this because it's my path as a twin flame. All right, it's what I need to do, help others. <clears throat> okay, so I love you, Scorpio. Be beautiful, stay beautiful, stay HBIC. Love you, bye.